Chapter 1. Vibing with individuals who have the same mindset, heart set, soul set, and health set as you will influence your output. The 5 a.m. club narrates the coming together of three individuals leading three distinct lives. One was an artist yet to unlock his true potential. The second was an entrepreneur that was on the verge of losing all she had worked for. And the third looked very much like a homeless man. They met in an optimization seminar anchored by a well-known pseudo-guru, the Spellbinder. Halfway through his powerful presentation, the Spellbinder collapsed and what ensued afterward will take you down a path that will change your life and the lives of the three main characters forever. In the midst of the raucous caused by the Spellbinder's collapse, these three people got talking. While at it, the entrepreneur and the artist could not help but notice the way the homeless man carried himself. His words and charisma contradicted his looks. The homeless-looking man spoke of his vast wealth, how he became successful by following the principles of the Spellbinder, which had helped him transcend the norm. He spoke of his knack for surrounding himself with people and things that value the importance of quality. He asserted that this decision had helped him preserve his peace and revamp his joy. By keeping only people that get him around, he learned to express himself freely without worrying about the stereotype that came with wealth. It is dangerous to spend time with people that would drain your zeal to become exceptional. This summary highlights the importance of avoiding people and things that zap your energy. It recommends a morning routine that allows you to master your life and birth the hero that lies within you. Take excellent care of the front end of your day, and the rest of your day will pretty much take care of itself. Own your morning. Elevate your life. Robin Sharma Chapter 2 True wealth and fulfillment come from using your life's work to uplift other people. The artist and the entrepreneur listened as the homeless man told them how he had come to see that service to humanity was the sole motivation of all the people that had left an imprint on history. True wealth and fulfillment come when you have subjected your life's work to uplifting other people. In addition, he condemned today's social economy that thrives on the narratives that people need to grow up to become successful. This means we often forget to appreciate the little things, and in contrast, we grow accustomed to the ordinary. And so, seeing that he had the artist and entrepreneur interested in what he had to offer, the homeless man went on to invite them to his beach house, where he would unlock some hidden truth about being successful. He told them of the 5 a.m. club, which he assured would help them optimize their mornings. After they had accepted the offer grudgingly, the homeless guy told them that his driver would pick them up the next morning and drop them at the airport. Appearances can be deceiving. It is what is under the hood that truly counts. With a pinch of faith, both the artist and entrepreneur arrived at the pickup spot, and before long, they were in a Rolls Royce chatting with the chauffeur, who claimed that the haggard-looking man they had met yesterday was in fact a billionaire. He drove them to the airport where a private jet was to take them to Mauritius. Chapter 3. Kickstarting tasks at 5 a.m. will fuel your day and help you live a better life. After making the journey to the island, the artist and the entrepreneur met the billionaire, who reiterated some of the points he had mentioned the day before. He enunciated the importance of getting up at 5 a.m. and kickstarting tasks that would eventually fuel the day. He told them that he had discovered his ability and to capitalize on this strategy had helped him live an above-average life. Starting your day in solitude that is best accessed in the morning will help you retain the sort of focus that would help you optimize your daily tasks. According to this billionaire that appeared homeless at first, generating high-quality output is one of the benefits of joining the 5 a.m. club. While drawing on his own ascent from mediocrity to the exceptional, the billionaire went on to inform his guests of how he had learned to block all sources of distraction. He backed this argument up with findings by neuroscientists that our peak mental state is the point where our reasoning is heightened, which drives our perceptive capacity to an all-new level. Combining this powerful state with a proven methodology, which the billionaire termed the 20-20-20 formula, would improve your prosperity, productivity, and performance. This concept is what helped the billionaire develop his cognitive sense and become a visionary thinker. It is well to be up before daybreak, for such habits contribute to health, wealth, and wisdom. Aristotle The next morning at exactly 5 a.m., the three people gathered at the beach, and the billionaire unveiled the first teaching which centered on generating better awareness, choices, and decisions. After the revelation, the tycoon asserted that the most successful people have unlocked their capacity to dedicate their time to the tiniest of details. This characteristic is what separates the successful few from those who do not invest their all into what they do. Chapter 4. 
The most successful people dedicate their time to the tiniest of details. To the tycoon, the people who invest have subjected their mentality to granularity, and the others who have no investments are more inclined to focus on the superficial. As such, your output determines who you are. Individuals that have learned to value their unique personality would never give outputs that are below average. And so, the top performers, producers, and professionals sweat to reach perfection, regardless of the time it takes. On the other hand, average people choose to dedicate their time to their work just for the sake of financial reward or fame. This assertion is why an artist would rather copy financial successful styles to create unique styles that would reinvigorate his artistry. Average people dedicate their time to their work just for the sake of financial reward or fame. The next morning, the tycoon went on to explain how our awareness of the inevitability of death steers us into the realm of living in the now. We tend to forget about the distractions of technologies and social media platforms when we realize that we have so little time to do great feats. And so, we should hold life's fragility as a constant reminder that we are not here forever. We must make meaning of our little time here. Chase your dreams like a brave soul and forego trivial things. It is here that the mogul revealed four hidden secrets of history makers. Capitalization IQ, freedom from distractions, personal mastery practices, day stacking. Firstly, history makers have capitalization IQ, a concept coined by popular psychologist James Flynn. This concept defines the fine line between talent and hard work. We do not remember history makers by how much talent they had or have. Instead, we remember them for how much of their potential they were able to unlock. You must learn to identify your talents, unlock them, and put in work to improve them. This simple fact negates that the geniuses are born narrative. Yet, people that had once come up short in their field and had gone to do great things are living proof that hard work trumps raw talent. Chapter 5. Your ability to free yourself from dead weight will allow you to increase your productivity tremendously. The mogul revealed that the second secret of history makers is that they have cultivated the art of freedom from distractions. This means you have to choose to focus on only meaningful activities. As the mogul stated, organizations are losing money because their employees and executives are becoming less fixated on their duties. We tend to undermine ourselves when we have too many irrelevant things eating up our time. The only way to remain unperturbed by the many distractions in today's world is to screen the things that require our attention. Third, history makers focus on personal mastery practices. These people have worked relentlessly on perfecting their skills that we have come to revere them as geniuses in their chosen fields. Like them, you can work your way up the ladder of success by giving your all to becoming great. Cultivate yourself at different levels until you are able to change your outlook about life and your place in it. The billionaire shared with his enthusiastic guests that when it comes to cultivating oneself, there are four main aspects. The mindset, psychology, the heart set, emotionality, the soul set, spirituality, and the health set, physicality. All these levels of our being should undergo constant cultivation early in the morning, preferably from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Finally, history makers focus on day stacking. Instead of focusing on big wins and transformation, history makers have found ways to improve daily until these improvements stack over time into a monstrous change. The life given us by nature is short, but the memory of a well-spent life is eternal. Marcus Tullius Cicero Chapter 6 Leave your comfort zone to unlock your true potential and develop the fortitude success requires. Similar to the absurd way the billionaire had gone about his teachings, at exactly 5 a.m. one particular morning, he picked up his guests in a helicopter for what could be described as a field trip. He later announced to them that they were heading back to the airport and their next destination was Agra, India. The next morning, the billionaire took them to the Taj Mahal. During this exhilarating experience, he began to disclose another factor that separates the successful from the failures. He had come to understand that successful people chose to do those things that the average person would find difficult. They persisted through adopting these painstaking tasks until it became a habitual part of their life. Your brain will only continue to grow throughout your lifetime if you challenge yourself to expand your horizons and leave your comfort zone. However, the mogul pointed out that this requires a constant process and adopters have to go through each phase as there are no shortcuts. Your willpower, as it turns out, can adapt to whatever limitations you set up. More so, your brain will continue to grow throughout your lifetime, 
only if you challenge yourself to expand your horizon. It is vital to escape the comfort zone to unlock your true potential and to also build the fortitude to do the things that success entails. We tend to give in to our weaknesses halfway through a polarizing journey of self-discovery. Remember that successful people are those that have learned to bend the world to their will and not the other way around. But first, they had to bend their emotions, body, soul, and spirit to the winning way. Without that, they would not accomplish half of what they have achieved. Did you know, as we leave our comfort zones, the ancient brain gets triggered. As we raise our expertise and lift our influence, it gets frightened by the change. Chapter 7. It is not enough to wake up early. It is what you wake up early to do that makes the difference. The morning after the empowering session they enjoyed in India, the mentor and his mentees relocated to Rome, where he would finally give an expository speech on the 2020 formula. Early in the morning, when you are reluctant in your laziness to get up, let this thought be at hand. I am rising to do the work of a human being. Marcus Aurelius. The basics of the 2020 formula require that you invest the first 20 minutes of your morning to a form of exercise. Then, the next 20 should go into meditation and an in-depth reflection. Then, you should ensure that you improve yourself by engaging in learning with the last 20 minutes. To back up this routine, the tycoon explained that starting your day with activities that make you sweat will help you reduce your cortisol, the hormone of fear. Once you have dialed down this hormone, you can take on the challenges the day might throw at you. In addition, exercising releases cell-repairing BDNF, brain-derived neuropathic factor. These benefits and a lot more will help you get ahead when others are still in their beds. Reflect upon your present blessings, of which every man has many, not on your past misfortunes, of which all men have some. You should embrace solitude while finding an inner peace that cuts through the chaos in your life. Also, you could outline the tasks and activities that should attract a chunk of your time that day. This strategy will help you maintain your focus throughout the day, and it will stop you from participating in less relevant activities. The 20-minute reflection pocket could help you get over frustrations, disappointments, and resentments that could malign your progress. By outlining them daily, you will learn to break free from this toxic emotional state. The third pocket, which you should do in the last 20 minutes of the first hour of your morning, is the time to expand your capacity and learn how to increase your expertise. Chapter 8. Sleep deprivation and oversleeping will erode your productivity performance and health. While in Rome, they went to the catacombs where the Romans buried the dead. He stated that the next teaching would touch on the essentialness of slumber. And so, it was only right that they had the session in a location where the occupants were in a permanent state of slumber. The session explored the negatives of technologies that deprive us of our sleep time. The way you spend the latter part of the day is as vital as the way you spend the early part. Staying up late at night makes it a tad difficult to wake by 5 a.m. to capitalize on the 2020 formula. In turn, this will erode your productivity performance and health. When we don't sleep enough, it impairs productivity and minimizes your performance as well as reduces your happiness and erodes your health. Just as sleep deprivation would shrink your performance and life cycle, researchers have discovered that oversleeping too is detrimental to your well-being. And so, you must find a balance as the spellbinder asserted that seven hours of sleep is ideally the accepted sleeping duration. Once you get a good sleep and practice your optimization routines in the early morning, you should focus on the first hour and a half of your working hours on specific tasks. When doing this, fight the urge to entertain any form of distractions and subsequently, find time to rest in between long stretches of work. It is vital to use this resting period to fuel yourself for the tasks ahead. Find time to rest in between stretches of work. It is important to refuel for the tasks ahead. Did you know? Melatonin is the chemical that informs your body that it needs to get sleep. When you sleep, and the key here is not only the quantity of sleep, but the quality of your sleep states, your neurons shrink by 60% as cerebral spinal fluid washes through the brain. Chapter 9 Capitalizing on the twin cycle of elite performance will reinvigorate you and establish you as a constant performer. Weeks into this exasperating encounter with life-changing values, the entrepreneur and the artist discovered that great people become who they are by sustaining elite performances throughout the year. The constant attainment of world-class outputs through their lifetime is the difference between legendary status and one-time performers. Longevity, as the billionaire noted, 
comes only when you establish work-rest periods that will help you keep growing. In contrast, the work-until-you-burn-out narrative would only put you in the spotlight for a limited time after which exhaustion kicks in. Remember that the goal is not to optimize production in the short term. Instead, you should focus on establishing yourself as a constant performer. The tycoon highlighted that elite performers rely on a twin working cycle that alternates High Excellence Cycle, HEC, and Deep Refueling Cycle, DRC. Apparently, this twin cycle shuffles focus work-centric periods with a recovery period that involves resting and fun. It is imperative to take a break from intense periods which push your willpower to the limits. Go on vacations, find fulfillment in little things, and live each second to the fullest. By doing so, you will discover that when you return to work, you return with more vigor. This jolt of commitment and power is a result of the serenade effects of rest and maintaining a blissful existence. Conclusion The teachings of the billionaire, as well as that of the spellbinder, mildly reminds you of what it takes to become great in your industry. There are no shortcuts to success, and so you should giddy up, optimize your mornings, improve your daily output, and change the way you see your work and its impact on the world. Everyone gets the same amount of time daily, but how we spend this time differs from one person to another. The first hour between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. should focus on sharpening your body, mind, emotion, and spirit. This fueling gives you the energy you need to be effective throughout the day. Consistent practice forms the habit of excellence. Developing a new habit can be difficult because our brains resist change. We have to work through the fear to reach a sweet spot of success. True mavericks and trailblazers have found it hard to fit into standard lifestyles to the detriment of their personal relationships. However, it is possible to adopt the granularity and rigor concept while identifying and avoiding the tropes that could break the way you communicate with the people around you. Pay attention to the little things because they make a big difference in the output of our lives. Get good sleep and constantly add value to yourself to be able to provide value for a longer period of time. You can change your daily routine to one that will sideline digital interruptions, and that will help you focus on the important things. Try this. Try as much as possible to be asleep by 10 p.m. so that you can start your day by 5 a.m. This practice will help you take advantage of the solitude and tranquility of mornings to optimize your body, soul, and mind.